Okay, so watch these people. I'm going to try to summarize these two dreams. The first dream, which is the other night, I dreamt I had a stalker, but it was a dude, and it was Twitter. And what God showed me was, like, he had me as, like, his, um, somehow, like, his Abby on Twitter, but also, like, um, you know how you can do, like, a back photo on Twitter? And it was, like, these conversations between me and him that was never actually had like I was very confused in the dream and so it was given stalker but also like delusional so still be on the lookout for that especially if you are someone that um you're more on the internet with the stuff that you do now what threw me off was twitter specific because like yeah I be on twitter like that but I ain't like no big deal on on twitter I ain't no big deal about nothing but it was still kind of like the spirit is okay. on them, which you talked about, right? Um, they're they're watching. And yesterday, let me go ahead and throw this in here. Let's like let's just go ahead and empty all the weirdo clip, right? <laughs> um, so when people comment certain things, because for a while there, I had somebody consistently commenting like I was crazy, and so I don't. I just been kind of like removing the comments and blocking them because I ain't got time for that. Y'all know being prophetic, it really is hard enough to think you're not crazy anyways, right? And so what I've been doing, so this is also if you're on YouTube and you're making videos and stuff, I click on their, because um, we're going to expose it, right? I click on their like a uh, little circle and it'll tell you when they joined. And whenever I get a comment like that, they always join the same day that they left the comment. So they're trolling, whether or not they know you in real life and they're trying to get to you or they don't. Cause I told you it was a round of it where God was like telling me who was doing it. Either right. way they're trolling. Like you created this account to wreak havoc today. You get what I'm saying? So let's just thank God for the growth there because I, I, I was like, God, this is this is why I'm not growing in it because I, I still get upset when people be talking to me crazy. <laughs> So, last thing, I had this dream last night. Same person um, in the two dreams I told y'all about where they're mentally unstable. And, and some of y'all was commenting like it was the counterfeit. And I was like, yeah, I didn't even think about that because it's not the counterfeit in the dreams I'm having. It's somebody that's supposed to be like my friend, right? So, in the dream last night, it was very... Y'all ever had the dreams where it's like... Um, like, it just feel like real life. Like, it's so real. But not only that, it's like... It's the accurate timing, but you're just in the spirit, like those kind of dreams. That's the last night's dream felt like. So I was super tired and I went to sleep in the dream, right? However, when I did get up at like four in the morning, but mind y'all, I woke up before five today. But when I woke up in the dream, my TV was like on SpongeBob. And I'm gonna come back to that because I think I just had a revelation this morning as to why this be happening. But her mama called me first, I think, and told me, like, it was another, like, knowing type of situation. Like, she didn't explicitly say nothing, but I knew, like, in talking to her in the dream. But her mama had called me and was, like, um, feeling a way towards me. And the mama was trying to invite me to this sporting event in North Carolina that might be for somebody because that was one of those things where it was like I remembered it but I didn't know like you know and so she was trying to invite me invite me to like this I want to say a basketball game in North Carolina too of all things and I was like yeah I can't go like I'm busy and um the mama was getting mad right I knew in the dream she was trying to manipulate and control my schedule and me and my grandma was just talking about that you got to watch them kind of Jezebels like they just want they 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 just want to have some type of say so in anything that you're doing in your life so if they can um influence your schedule in any way they it's weird I, and if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about but i i started picking up on that like last year like hey like you just kind of trying to control my day especially when people know like um you are busy and you're working on things and so that's how, what the mama was giving in the dream last night she called me first and was like hey do you want to go to this guy and i was like no i'm busy like i got something to do like and i'm sorry you know click and I knew the mom was feeling away and trying to control me and manipulate me. So then the friend actually calls and I knew she was mad at me. Like it was so much knowing in the dream. And I knew she was mad at me and she was trying to play it off. Like her mama had good intentions and stuff. I'm like, no, she didn't. Like, and here you are trying to be slick when I already knew what both of them was thinking. Right. So because I had that revelation last week where when 
somebody is claiming to be somebody's parent in the dream is whatever like spirit is lording over them because even in the dream i was like why is her mama calling me like i don't talk to your mama you know <laughs> and, um that's that spirit that's jezebel right that's why her mama called me and then she was trying to act like oh yeah my mom no sis so then in my dream i called my parents because it was like real life so like my mama and my daddy and then like my sister you know that's like People I trust, like God, the Holy Spirit, like my sister. Christ. I caught them, and I was talking to them about it, and my daddy and my mom was like, yeah, leave that alone, like the, confirming what I was thinking in a dream. Anyways, like the knowing I had, they was like, nah, that's not right. They just trying to, you know, play with you. And I was like, okay, cool. Now let's run back to this SpongeBob real quick. So the two things so far is um, the stalkerish, delusional type of spirits on social media, right? And then the second thing is people that are trying to put their hands in your schedule, like manipulate your calendar, your time. Do you get what I'm saying? Let's get back to the SpongeBob thing real quick. When I have first befriended this girl last year as a different person, um, the dream that God was showing me about them I, I didn't pay attention to too many of the details and also because I didn't want to believe like, no, nah, Jezebel not moving through her, you know? Um, I was getting gang stalked in that dream. So it's low key kind of like the same thing, right? And and so God is showing me to showing it to me in a different way, kind of like a different scale because we just gotta be aware and mindful of these things. But in that dream, I was getting gang stalked and then I was in a room with her and didn't know why I was in a room with her and um because I was like, where's your husband, right? And that that's really important. When we think about the Jezebel spirit and everything, those women are nine times out of 10, 10 times out of 10, they're not playing the wifey role. They're not concerned with their husband. That's how they can be concerned with you and trying to get a hand in everything that you got going on. It's like, sis, you should be worried about your husband because I'm telling y'all now, man, say jump. I'm saying how hot. It's me being funny, but seriously, that's a red flag, right? Like if somebody is married and they're overly concerned with you. I think that um, I've mentioned that in the, in the video, right? And so in that dream, I was in a room with her and like we weren't agreeing on different things, but... I wanted to watch Spongebob in that dream. And when I woke up from that dream, I was like, why did I want to watch Spongebob? So my y'all, the dream I had last night, I was watching Spongebob on TV. And I told my mom when we was walking this morning, like, I'm mad because I cannot remember what episode it was. But I should remember and I can't. So if I remember, I'm going to come back and tell y'all what it was because I feel like God was trying to tell me something in that dream too. Like, it was Patrick, I think, saying something stupid, not Spongebob. But I remembered that I was watching that. And this morning, I was like, why do I keep being Spongebob? All I heard was, who lives in a pineapple under the sea. And we know that the marine kingdom, right? That's the water. That's the stuff out of the water. That's the serpentine spirits and all that, which is like Jezebel. It comes from that. And that's what he was like. And I, he showed me Spongebob every single time. So I, I remember. Same thing in the dream last night before they tried to manipulate and control my time. Throw me off with the invitation. I don't know who that's for, okay? Throw me off with the invitation, Okay. But I remember when I woke up, Spongebob was on my TV, right? So um, I know we can get real into like relationships every day, talking about what I'm learning, talking about the revelations, but God still be giving me a whole lot of other stuff, right? And um, whether it's because they're trying to um, get close to the kingdom, marriage, promise, or whether they're just trying to infiltrate because that's, that's a negative, right? When I told y'all when I used that word, I was like, ain't that usually like negative connotation? The, whether they're trying to infiltrate what you got going on to figure out what you got going on to be close to what you got going on right and he been highlighting the fake concern and false cheerleading again folks will pretend they will be in your face they will act like they like you they do not care they just want to interfere and sabotage what you got going on in any way even if they don't know what's going on they're just to throw you off and it's the spirits and spirits in them and i know what i'm working on now what i'm carrying right now like i ain't got time for that i just don't okay so be mindful of that y'all okay so i'm gonna just um I don't know what I'm talking about. It's probably going to be watch them or be mindful, but um, we're more than conquerors anyways. And he shows us because he just wants us to be aware so that we can maneuver better and maturely, right? Because, oh, come on, Holy Spirit. When we have children and stuff, it it's discernment is one thing, but seeing in the spirit is different. Like we were talking about this yesterday too. You still got to use discernment when you can see in the spirit, but when you can see in the spirit, it makes everything different. You, you think about things different. You view things differently. And I'm also throwing there when you've been called to deliverance, because the eyes that God gives you for unclean spirits, if you're called to deliverance, it's just different. And so this training, this stuff is going to matter when we're in the union, when it comes to protecting what our husbands got going on or what y'all's wives got going on, when it comes to picking up on the different things happening in their interactions with people right also your children right 
I always used to wonder how my parents was like, that person ain't your friend. How you know that? <laughs> like, how do you know that? Right? Okay? And that's why I called in a dream last night. And they was like, yeah, no, this ain't it. And my mama warned me about both of these individuals, and I just didn't listen to her. It, still, as a grown-up. So God is training us so that we can have the eyes, so that we can be mindful, so that we can not only see it, whether you see it in real life with your spiritual eyes or you're dreaming about it, but we can discern and pick up on things in our spirit, okay? So I love y'all, and I didn't want, want to let that go by with all the other words, okay?